Hi guys, this is Edward, aka Life Hiker, and I'm here with the Arcteryx Arios 30 backpack. Uh, yes, this is much anticipated. This review, and I've been waiting for to get this pack for quite some time. Been looking at it for a long time, and here it is, uh, packed out. How I would probably have it packed for a, a day trip, a long day trip. Um, right off the get, right out the gate, I could tell right away this was very, very um, light material. This backpack only weighs 910 grams or two pounds, and utilizes a liquid crystal polymer ripstop grid system, which really allows for outstanding durability when it comes to uh, withstanding a lot of abrasions and potential rips and tears. But the one downside is right out the gate, the color, um, because I know that any stains will probably show. But on the flip side, I also know that this is quite um, a stain resistant, water resistant backpack. So in that sense, I know that I'll be able to wash off um, any dirt that um, appears on this for the most part. Now Arcteryx, they market this as a intelligently designed backpack. And I will say they really have thought of everything. Um, I'll probably say this is the loopiest backpack I've ever purchased and I'll explain why in a little bit. But there's just a ton of loops everywhere. And I'm still not even 100% sure I know what all of these loops do, but I will do my best to uh, explain to my knowledge what these all do. You do right out the gate see that this is very utilitarian. It has obviously this web netting up front for any uh, loads you want to, to carry outside. It has an ice axe loop right here so you can loop in your ice axe and you know, get that, uh, get that nice and secure on the front. So this really is an adventure pack. What I also like about it is, of course, the running vest, which this really does hug you. It offers a ton of padding, um, and it really has a great hip belt with, on one side, offers the zipped uh, storage, and on the other side, it offers a stow-and-go type scenario. Very, very light, as I mentioned. Um, the back has a really nice, uh, light mesh, which you can see through that. That looks almost uh, br very breathable. And from my experience, um, having done 15 miles on it this past weekend, it is very breathable. So what we have here on the chest, we have a zip compartment, uh, fits my phone very easily. Uh, you also have these uh, storage compartments, which you can slip in a GoPro pole, uh, which I do uh, during most of my hikes. Uh, definitely check out my hiking videos if you're not already. And also on the other side, you have another zip compartment as well. So this is where you would put in your drink. So you would go ahead and stir your drink in here. Quite easy to do. So it's quite easy to use the pockets. They use a very large pocket which can expand. And uh, you can see right here, a Nalgene, an average Nalgene fits in just fine. You can even fit, and you can even fit something even bigger in. So let's look at this looping system, which is actually quite fascinating. So you have one loop down here by the bottom, by the the side pocket, and one loop up higher. And what they actually allow you to do is, here's the pocket. It allows you to either utilize and hook into this first pocket if you don't need as much tension. And it also allows you to run this up to the second rung if you want a higher amount of tension on this pocket. I've even seen people run this up and underneath this section of the backpack in order to achieve almost a compression situation. So almost to achieve a really nice compression. So I'm not saying that's what I would recommend doing or that I think that is something you should do, but that is just something I've seen other people uh, commenting that they can do as well. Another detail that I love about this pack is that each of the zippers are also in this 
uh, fluorescent kind of accent. So you can easily uh, find and access your zippers at any time very easily. Now, how does this pack wear? Um, well, I was carrying a load about 20, between 20 and 25 pounds, and I could have swore that I was carrying maybe 10 pounds less than that. Um, it, this really allows you to just carry in a very, very comfortable way. Now, you do have these hook-on uh, type clasps on the front here with the vest. So it's a very easy on and off system to just put these hooks in and you have these tightening straps. Now, the one thing about these tightening straps is the fact that as you are walking and perhaps breathing heavily, uh, these will actually expand with you. So if you start breathing heavily, this will, the elastic will expand. Now, the downside of this is that you might find yourself tightening this quite a lot, um, as I did during my, uh, during my hiking trip. But um, not really, not really a, uh, not a bad thing, just something to note uh, that you might find yourself tightening this a few times. Uh, but overall, it feels amazing. Uh, so for me, this is a very comfortable pack, uh, wears really well. Um, I did notice that um, you know, some of the material at the bottom half, it doesn't offer much support, if, if any, because that, you know, it's, it doesn't have like a tough material on the bottom. So the only gripe here is that sometimes if you've got a very heavy load towards the bottom, it may kind of like sag a tiny bit or maybe have a little bit of a, a bit of a bulge down here where it just kind of, it's just, it sticks out a little more than it should. Um, and that's really just more something to note. It's not something that's a deal breaker for me, but just something to note that uh, there's just a tiny bit of sag here that, um, you know, is probably more stable on, on other packs that don't, don't, uh, aren't, as, uh, aren't as light in material. All in all, um, I'd say this is my new favorite pack. Um, haven't used it a whole bunch, so really looking forward to getting out there with it, but uh, so far so good, really love it. Very comfortable carry, like I mentioned, ton of features, probably many more features than I've even managed to cover in this video alone, um, but definitely see for yourself. Um, it is loopy, lots of loops. Um, it's very functional, it's very purpose-built. Um, it's very much uh, choose your own functionality, uh, very customizable, and for that it, uh, gets really, really high praise from me so far. So uh, check it out for yourself, um, the Arcteryx Arios 30 backpack. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.